Hey guys, it's Justin again with another work in progress for the 1 to 100 Mechanicor Zerstor. This is where it stands right now. We are at the uh, the end of the tunnel, if you will. Uh, the main body of the mobile suit is almost finished. Uh, basically, what I've got left is uh, the shoulders, the skirts, the shield, and the sword. Uh, so right in front of you, we've got all the pieces separated by what they are and what they're going to be. Uh, so these are all the shoulder units, and these are going to be black, these are going to be orange, these are going to be gray number two, these are going to be gray number three, and these are going to be gray number one. Uh, and all these are going to be metallic. Uh, so a, a huge chunk of pieces left for the shoulders. We are... Um, this has actually been one of the hardest fitting pieces to, to get done. Um, it, it just doesn't stay together whatsoever, so this is going to require a lot of glue once I get all these pieces painted uh, and decaled and all that. Uh, but it feels really good to almost be done with this. So um, I'm going to make a cut, we'll come back and we will look at uh, all the painted and assembled pieces. I'm going to actually kind of change this one up a little bit and I'm not going to do just one piece. Uh, we're actually going to go ahead and look at a bunch of different pieces because there's not very much left. There's no sense in doing work in progress videos on on shoulders and skirts and then, you know, the, the last couple pieces that are left. Uh, so I'll just roll all this into one uh, since we're almost finished. Uh, so we will come back and we will look at the last, or well, the assembled and decaled shoulders. Okay, so I'm back. Here is the completed shoulder armor. It is painted, it is top coated, it is decaled. It's all put together. It's just a matter of slipping it on the shoulder. Uh, I've only finished this one. The other one I, I still have to put the back together for. Uh, but I wanted to show you what it looked like and then get started on the rest of this. Uh, so the next piece would be the skirts. And these are a special kind of annoying. I'm just going to show you this one because it stays together the best. Uh, let's see if I can get this apart. Okay, so here's the inner assembly for this, the side skirt. And there's actually a piece of photo etch that goes over this and covers this yellow piece up. And it adds a bunch of detail to it. And then you take this and you cover it entirely. Why? <laughs> so I'm probably gonna take um, and just paint this whole thing like a frame color. Uh, I'm still gonna put the photo etch on and I'm gonna paint this the orange that I want it to be and call it a day because there's no sense in detail painting all this stuff underneath if you just don't see it at all. There's no there's no point in it. Uh, front skirts. Front skirts are like a bunch of pieces that are sandwiched together that should be one piece. Uh, this little hinge joint here, which I'm curious to see how that works. I tried snapping it on earlier to see if I could get it on. I couldn't. Uh, so I'm probably going to have to take this off, snap this on, and then put the skirt on that. Uh, if that works, I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, but not bad, super easy to work. Uh, two pieces of photo etch go under here. Um, and that's pretty much it. Like this one is really straightforward. It looks really nice. It looks fine. Uh, back skirts. The only difference between the back skirts and the front skirts are um, there are notches here instead of these little circle things. And the circle things are up here. And there's nothing there on the other ones. So. Besides that, they're the exact same shape, the exact same details. Uh, the panel lines are a little different, uh, but same thing. Uh, the shield. I'm very bitter about the shield. Um, I had to do some drilling to widen a few of the holes, but besides that, the shield went together flawlessly. There was not a single fit issue at all. It went straight together and that's why I'm bitter about it because the rest of the kit has been a nightmare and this worked. Now, the only other issue I had is this has warped a little bit 
<laughs> so I gotta fix that. Uh, but it fits just as it should, and it looks nice. It works well. The shield looks really good. I like it. Uh, lots of nice deep recesses for detail and things like that. So uh, I might do a little bit of work on this. I believe the main part of the shield is going to be orange. The red pieces will be black, probably, and then the rest will be uh, a pure white. I'm probably going to mask in this little area on the bottom and on the back and do like the, the darkest shade of white just to get some contrast in there. And this, contrary to everything else, has been a huge nightmare because whoever designed this gun is an idiot. That's just the easiest way to put it. Instead of making one long piece or two long pieces that uh, you put together, there's a piece here, there's a piece here, there's two pieces here, and then two pieces that sandwich those two pieces together. Then there's a piece here, there's a piece here, and then there's one inside here. Then there's these two little pieces that go together for details, and there's these two. Instead of just making one long piece, these don't even interlock together. They just pop on and off. It's like when you were a kid and you would put a bunch of markers together and pretend it's a sword. That's what this is. It's literally that. Uh, so I'm going to have to glue all this together and get it all squared away. There's a really stupid camera here on the front which just sits in here. You don't glue it in. You don't. There's no pegs holding it. it just, it's sitting in the thing. So if I turn this upside down, it's probably going to go all over the place. So I'm not going to do that. Uh, but I am working on getting this all seamed up because there's this nasty, nasty seam line running down the bottom of this. Uh, it is disguised as a panel line, so it shouldn't be too hard to fill. Um, but this was just really dumb. I don't. This is really poorly designed. So I'm going to get this all done up. And there's a ton of little pieces that go in all these little circle holes, and those will be done. And then I will be finished. And then there will be a gallery and I can send this thing to the client. I think, I'm, I'm hoping that he likes it. Um, but, uh, I'm going to go ahead and make a cut. I'll get started on all that. And uh, I will come back when, when everything else is painted so you can at least see what it looks like. And then following that, we will do a gallery video so you can see it. And I want to thank some people for helping me out throughout the project. So, I will see you guys in a little bit. Okay guys, it's uh it's done. It's finally finished. Oh man, it feels so good to be done. Uh, so I'll show you the handful of parts that are in front of me and then when the final gallery comes out you can see everything else. Um, the gun, I have to put a flat coat on these parts still so uh, the gun is finished, all the decals, a uh, little green piece inside. Uh, I think I don't think I'm going to put the clear piece on here because it looks really foggy and weird when you put that clear piece over. It's not like super transparent. Um, here are my back skirts. Let me scoot them around so you can see them. So, I'm really happy with those. And the front skirts. All done. So, uh, you guys will be able to see this a couple days after this video comes out. Uh, I'll put the gallery online. I just want to make sure that this is uh, in the mail and on the way to my client so that he has it and can see it before everybody. He's going to get all the pictures before everybody. He's going to get all that, but uh, all that is coming. So um, I want to thank Steven uh, for giving me the uh, the color scheme. Well, I mean, I the color scheme is, I guess, mine, but thank you for mocking up the, the line art for me. Uh, super. I really appreciate that. Um, to my client, thank you for the opportunity to do this. I don't think I've seen a custom color of one of these yet. Um, I don't think you have. I think you made a comment about that too. Um, and this is really a not like a, a little kit to be customizing, <laughs> um, but it, it's been a blast. Uh, so thank you for the opportunity. Um, 
I know a lot of people are going to ask if I would recommend this kit. I think there's actually a comment that I have uh, I need to respond to um, on one of my last videos asking if I would recommend this kit. And it's a really hard thing to really just give a yes or a no answer to. Uh, so I'm going to kind of summarize it as uh, yes, I absolutely would recommend this kit if uh, you're the type of builder that enjoys a challenge, if you're the type of builder that that is okay with dealing with problems, if you're the, the kind of builder that likes uh, a tough, engaging build. If you like to snap your kits for fun and mess around, you want something that you can pose and play with when you're done, this really isn't the kit for you. This is a really an investment uh, of time more than anything, uh, and it's it's been very much that for me. Um, I have sacrificed a lot of my time working on this thing, um, but it's finally finished. I thought I muted that. I'm sorry. Um, but like I said, it's it's all over now. So very 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 soon you will see uh, the final gallery. I'm gonna try and take a bunch of pictures of this thing and show off some of the stuff that I did. Uh, I didn't do as much detail work as I normally do just because of how big the kit actually is and how much of the detail gets covered up. Uh, but I did try to make it nice and clean. Uh, I worked around all the stupid photo etch and parts that covered up and things like that that just make me so angry just thinking about it. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm just glad it's finished and I'm glad that I had the opportunity to work on it and um, I don't know, hopefully I'll get to work on something this big, maybe not another Mechanicore kit, but something this uh, involving, I guess, again in the future um, because it's, it's really fun to kind of disconnect from everything else and then work on something that challenges you and then come back to everything else and it's you know super easy um, but hopefully you guys enjoyed I thank you all for sticking with me and watching and and you know egging me on this whole time uh, I really appreciate all that so uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed and hopefully you guys will stick around for the next set of whips uh, I'm not sure if I want to do my team build yet which I've already started uh, but I'm not sure if I want to do whips on my team build or if I want to do whips on another project that I'm working on. I've got a lot of build-offs going on. I've got more commissions. Uh, but I'm doing a little me project. I don't know which one I'm going to do yet, but I'm going to do something for me. And then I'll go tackle that that other commission. And then I've got even more commissions to work on after that. So um, thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for sticking with me. Uh, I'll see you guys in the very near future. Later.